So now I will tell you some shortcuts I derived to remember this e uh, easily and during the shortcuts some of the concepts uh, are required from the future chapters as well. Okay. So I will tell you the formulas here once you complete the, the, the chapter is indeterminate beams. So once we complete that you will be comfortable with whatever the values I, uh, I tell you. So whatever the values I need from the future chapters I will give you uh, in this. So you will understand that later once we get into that chapter. Okay. So, uh, mainly if we observe, so in every, uh, in the total uh, uh, derivations if we observe, we have seen only maximum slope and maximum deflection in every case. They need not ask maximum deflection and maximum slope only. They can ask at any other point wherever they want. But we have to remember these standard cases. This uh, one thing is there are chances directly to ask standard cases or the question paper setter uh, assumes you already remember the standard cases uh, so that you consume less than one minute time or else using the mag as this is the maximum deflection what can be the deflection here in that way also alternatively also this will be definitely helpful for you to eliminate the options as well ok. So to remember the standard cases first we will uh, come with cantilever first we will come with uh, cantilever. <coughs> So cantilever with moment, whatever the series I am writing, you remember in the same order. The order is also very important. Why we will see that? Okay. Couple, point load, UDL, and one UVL. These are standard cases we need to remember. Sorry. Okay. So, we have to remember the standard formulas for maximum slope or slope at end, where you will get maximum slope for cantilever obviously at the end point. Okay. So, the formula, the shortcut formula for uh, this is fixed end moment divided by EI by L. Next for this fixed end moment divided by 2 EI by L. And for this it is fixed end moment divided by 3 EI by L and for this it is fixed end moment divided by 4 EI by L. So this is how I have framed the shortcuts to remember easily. So if you apply moment what is the fixed end moment you get here M. If you apply a load what is the moment you get here W into L. If you apply a UDL what is the moment you get here WL square by 2. If you apply a UVL what is the fixed end moment you get here W L square by 6, W L by 2 into distance L by 3, W L square by 6. Okay. Let us substitute the values. So fixed end moment M, so this will become M L by E I. So W L divided by 2 E I by A. So W L square divided by 2 A, same answers what we got during uh, uh, method explanations and W L square by 2 divided by 3 A by L. So, this becomes W L cube by 6 E A, 6 into 4, 24, W L cube divided by 24 E A. So, if you remember the exponent of L, so for M you see you are getting L, for W you are getting L square, for small W you are getting L cube, uh, this is also similar to this only. So, for M even while choosing the answer also see the power of the length value, okay, L L square L cube for slope. Okay. Next, maximum deflection or deflection at the free end. Slope, sorry. Free end. Free end. So, the shortcut for this, as I told you, some values are required from the future chapter. The shortcut is reaction of the prob. Reaction of the prob divided by 3 EI by L cube. This is the shortcut. So what does it mean? For a cantilever, if you place any support here, we call that as prob to reduce the deflection. Generally, we do that. So if you place the prob at the free end, what is the reaction of the prob? Is a standard case we have to remember in the later chapter. Okay. By linking these two, there is an advantage also. One thing you already remember those values fixed end moments props you will remember from the future chapters. You will remember this. 
so from this you can get reaction of prob or from reaction of prob you can get this so if you know one thing if you forget other indirectly also you can derive that is also one advantage in linking these two chapters okay so the formula is exactly same reaction of prob divided by 3i by l cube l cube reaction of prob divided by 3i by l cube reaction of prob divided by 3ei by l cube let me change the stroke thickness okay okay so if i place a prob here and apply a moment what is the reaction i get it is very difficult for you to guess as we still did not complete the chapter i'll tell you the answer it is 3 by 2 times of m by l you may think why I, m by l means moment unit is kilo newton meter reaction will be kilo newton or newton whatever so it is a force unit obviously you should get divided by l so it is 3 by 2 times of m by l and if you place a load here what is the reaction you get here the load will directly go here without going here when you apply a load there so reaction is simply w and when you apply a uh, prob here what is the reaction you get the this is also standard case you will obviously remember this uh, after final chapter so it takes 3 by 8 wl see among the total load 3 by 8 time comes here and 5 by 8 remaining goes to the fixed support because as fixed is more rigid it will take more load next uvl so can you guess the value see if it is equally distributed 3 by 8 is coming here now more load is towards that side so obviously more reaction will go to that side so can you guess the value it is only 10 percent even by placing the uh, prop support only 10 percent load comes here w l sorry not 10 percent it is 20 percent the total load is w l by 2 not w so only 20 percent of the load comes here and remaining 30 percent of the load goes to the sorry remaining 80 percent of the load goes to the fixed support okay so w l divided by 10 now let us substitute the values here so reaction of the prop 3 by 2 m by l so by substituting 3 3 gets cancelled this becomes uh, ml by sorry ml square divided by ei because l cube l will get cancelled next reaction of prop simply w so w l cube by 3 ei next reaction of prop divided by 3 ei by l cube reaction of prop w l square by 2 sorry reaction of prop sorry <coughs> so reaction of prop 3 by 8 w l so 3 by 8 means 3 3 you can get cancelled so this becomes w l to the power of 4 divided by 8 ea next last one 10 ea so this is w l to the power of 4 10 into 3 30 ea okay so these are the values of slopes and deflections you have to remember even the paper setter expects you to remember this okay it will be helpful when they ask the question directly or helpful indirectly by knowing that this is the maximum slope you get here if you want to know the slope somewhere else you can find it okay using any method whatever so you during for elimination also obviously this is helpful for you okay next coming to simply supported beam so in this also we have to remember three standard cases moment can be placed anywhere so moment case is not a standard case but for cantilever end is very important so end case we have to discuss for moment okay udl and one uvl okay this is the symmetrical uv okay now maximum slope where you get the maximum slope tell me at the support and where you get the maximum deflection where you get the maximum deflection at the center not always because already we discussed for eccentric load it is not below the center line or not below the load it is between uh, l by 13 from the center okay okay so maximum slope so what is the shortcut for uh, maximum slope for this means it is fixed end moment divided by 2 ei by l from where it came from here it came 
okay so the same thing whatever i have written here you can apply the same thing to all fixed end moment divided by 2a by l okay fixed end moment divided by 2a by l okay this is not a new formula same whatever you have applied for a load you can apply the same formula but there is no fixed end here this is simply supported beam how to create fixed end moment this is the case we are discussing so if simply supported is replaced with fixed ends what is the amount of moment generated this is also standard case as i told you in later chapter you will obviously remember this okay for now i'll give you the values so this is w l by 8 this is w l square by 12 and sorry i have drawn uvl only and this is 5 by 96 w l square okay right so fixed end moment divided by 2a by l 8 2 is a 16 so w l square divided by 16a so for w capital w you get l square for a small w you get l cube here so next uh, 2 l 2 is 24 so w l cube divided by 24 ei for uel also you'll get uh, l cube so w l cube by ea i will write first next 5 by 96 into 2 192 a okay next maximum deflection at the center so for this the formula is similar to this so here reaction of prop divided by 3 a by l cube i have written right so similarly so here reaction of prop divided by 48 ei by l cube so where you have to keep the prop where you have to keep the prop you have to keep the prop at the center. So, if you place a prop at the center, the reaction of the prop you get is complete W will go here. So, the answer is W L cube by 48 EI. Next, if you place a prop here, can you guess what is the amount of load that goes into this? It is 5 by 8 times of W L. This is not a new value. I will tell you where you have seen this this is the amount of load that goes to the fixed support 5 by 8 times of wl similar answer you will get here that is this is also like a fixed support where you get the moment it is 5 by 8 times of wl so reaction of the prop divided by 48 ei by l cube so it is 5 by 8 times of wl divided by 48 ei by l cube okay so, 5 by 384 WL to the power of 4 divided by EI. So, here for uh, load you get L cube, for U, UDL you get L to the power of 4. Okay. Next, uh, reaction of prob divided by 48 EI by L cube. So, for this case, if you place a prob here, you will get 2 by 5 times of WL. So, 2 by 5 times of WL, this is not 2 fifth of the total load because uh, the total load is WL by 2, not WL because that is a triangle. Okay. So, 2 by 5 times of WL uh, divided by 48 EI by L cube. So, this will become WL to the power of 4 divided by 524. So, this will become 120 EI. So here also, uh, so here also you can see something interesting. So uh, in W L by two, if you see four by five times. So if you place a load like this, it is surprising that four by five times of load goes here. Four by five times of the total load goes to here, which is surprising. So remaining one fifty shared between these two. Among the total load, four by five times of the load goes here almost 90 percent of the load we can see here also you see if you place a udl 5 by 8 the times of load goes to the center so if three people are holding a stick let us say and walking like this the center person takes 5 by 8 the times of load remaining 3 by 8 is shared between these two which is surprising if you see the values okay but that is the answer so so this is how based on the deflection the load sharing happens 
it won't distribute equally among all it depends on what is the boundary condition whether the support is taking the moment or not so depending on that boundary conditions and deflection the reactions distributes accordingly which satisfy the equilibrium equations as well okay so this is how we can remember the slopes and deflection so standard table uh, i will be giving in uh, free pdf section but to understand the derivation i have uh, shown you in this way okay so standard table also i will show you which you can uh, download from free pdf section the same thing whatever i have told you you will uh, see in this pdf okay so that's all about slope and deflection so uh, there are few more shortcuts which we can uh, explain only when a type of question encounters us for for ssc j or rb rrbj whatever we have dealt is more than sufficient we can say even for state government also more than sufficient okay the application of this concept uh, really uh, needs lot of practice which method we have to use how conveniently we have to use the same question can be solved in n number of ways which method you choose how we apply the superimposition method for the given amount of loads for example let me show you one gate question they will ask you a, uh, they will ask you what is the deflection at the center because of this load you did not see this kind of load so do you go for double integration no you need not go to double integration why i will tell you the the solution is very simple so if you combine these two we know the delta is 5 by 384 w l to the power of 4 divided by a okay so by symmetry we can say both are obviously symmetric because one is mirror of other by symmetry delta 1 must be equal to delta 2 right and we know delta 1 plus delta 2 must be equal to this because of superposition so then what is delta 1 equal to delta 2 it is simply half of that 5 by 384 uh, into 2 whatever you get 768 or something you will get okay so in this way uh, so in this way whatever we have studied the application by dividing the loads into different parts by moving the load from one point to other point like this it is completely application basis if you practice more number of questions you get more ideas how to divide this load how to see the question which method you have to use efficiently you will know this only with experience which we have to remember for the standard case okay so particularly uh, this chapter if you are preparing for gate examination ias examination or if your state government is really focusing use on this then you need to practice more for a standard ssc rrb whatever we have taught is much more than enough okay it is application basis as i said we cannot fix the question will come only in this way it is application basis so if you encounter more uh, types of question you will get more clarity on this okay